All right, I've been getting this question all the time lately and it is, what are my thoughts on the 60 second face wash, the three minute face wash, the 40 minute face wash? And I'm going, who is making this stuff up? Who is making this stuff up? Um, yeah, I mean, it sounds crazy to me that you would spend that much time washing your face. It really shouldn't take more than more than a few seconds to to cleanse your face and then of course everybody wants a precise time and it's just like i don't think i can find a study on pubmed i know i can't timing cleansing i mean it's just not available data that i have to give i i, I got nothing but <laughs> spending 60 seconds rubbing cleanser on your face, it's its too much. It's only going to cause irritation and disrupt the skin barrier. Um, I, you know, and anything longer than that is definitely overkill. Yeah, I, I don't know who's making these times up, but it doesn't make much sense. The best way to cleanse your skin, especially if you wear a lot of cosmetics and of course sunscreen, is to use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm first and rub it all over your face to dissolve the dirt from all of the surfaces and the crevices. You know, your skin is kind of like, a th it's a 3D structure. It's not just like this flat sheet. There are convexities, concavities, <clears throat> your pores and all that kind of stuff. Oils and cleansing balms, which cleansing balms just are oils that are solid at room temperature and then as you work them, they liquefy. I mean, it's not like one's not more ethereal than the other. That just helps to dissolve those films of cosmetics and dirt and everything from all those surfaces. And then you just <clears throat> hop in the shower and rinse it off with a gentle cleanser to just carry that oil dirt combination off the surface of the skin down the drain. And I don't spend, I don't like the longer you rub your face, it's just eventually it's going to cause the skin barrier to get disrupted and for you to lose water out, out of the skin. I mean, if you have a lot of dirt on your face, a lot of makeup, you may have to spend a little bit more time. <laughs> However long it takes you to get the crud to break up off the surface of your skin should be enough time, but that's going to vary from person to person. And 60 seconds just seems like overkill to me um, because after a while, all you're doing, I mean, it doesn't take that long to dissolve and to break up the dirt and everything. And at that point, you're just rubbing your skin and that's only going to cause irritation and problems. Like, and, and it's a waste of time. Like, you don't need to, you don't need to do that. Anyway, speaking of cosmetics, I'm trying a new mascara for the first time today. This was a gift. Um, it's Tarte's Man Eater. I don't know how I feel about that name. <laughs> um, but the packaging is kind of nice. Anyways, um, in my opinion, at least this first time around, it looks identical to Maybelline Colossal. Um, so I like it, but I'm sure this is probably more expensive than Maybelline Colossal. This is what the applicator looks like. That's what the applicator looks like. Yeah, this was a gift, um, and I'm excited to use it because I was getting fed up with that. Um, lash freak it was just too heavy on my eyelashes um, so I'm excited to be using this now this was a gift from reward style it's the um, it's like an affiliate network that I'm a part of there's an app that I use it's called like to know it I don't know if you guys ever use it but it's basically a shopping app and so if you ever see anything like on my Instagram or on YouTube and you wonder where it's from if you have if you download that app and follow me in that app you can basically shop my posts because I link stuff through there, but Instagram doesn't allow you to link things within your static images, only only on your stories is a swipe up link and it doesn't last forever. But this particular app is basically a way to shop my Instagram. Anyways, that platform um, sent out uh, some gifts because there was supposed to be a conference that we we're supposed to go to but that obviously got canceled, so they did it virtually and they sent us little swag bags, which was really cool. 
And one of the things in there was this mascara. They also sent the Lights Camera Lashes mascara. I'll have to try that at some point. Anyways, that's a little mascara update. But I don't know if you guys noticed, I got a little Arrow Garden. I'm so excited about this. I set it up this morning. You can see it over there. And I got the Gourmet Herbs, these little pods. And it came with, what did it come with? Uh, basil, dill, mint, thyme, curly parsley, and Thai basil. I'm pretty excited about this. It's just a little aeroponic type garden. And it's got water, you put water in the base, and then it came with this plant food that you're supposed to put in every two weeks to cat falls. Initially, you're supposed to put these little domes on top of the seedlings, and then once they start sprouting, you take those off. But I guess that just kind of keeps them protected or whatnot. And it's on an automatic timer, and then a little alarm will go off when it's time to refill the water. So that's pretty cool. You can also get pods that are different lettuces. So if I'm successful with the herbs, then I may try lettuces in the future. And I think you can also do tomatoes. Um, so I've always wanted one of these and I thought it would be fun to document the arrow garden progress and we can see if it actually works. <laughs> You're on an incline, I apologize. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that and to document it with you guys. We can see how it comes out and it even came with a little recipe for tomato, cucumber, mint salad. I love mint and I always want it when it's not around. And then it also came with a recipe for pesto with the basil. So that'll be fun to play around with. And yeah, I look forward to seeing how that grows. Oh, speaking of recipes, I have an update for you guys on the blondies that I made last weekend. Remember how I was like, mm, I don't know, these aren't so good. They actually got much better after they were stored in the refrigerator the following day. They kind of firmed up, they tasted a lot better, and I ended up actually loving them, and of course I inhaled all of them. So, I got new earrings from Octoly a while ago. Octoly is a platform that, you, if you're uh, an influencer, you can apply to get things um, for free in exchange for sharing them on your social media, basically. Um, and so I got these earrings, and I've been wearing them in my videos, and you guys have been asking me about them, and I love them. This is the box that they came in. The company is called Oro Central, like Gold Central. And I have been just storing them in the box um, because they came in this cute little um, envelope. That's just kind of what I've been keeping them in. And I like that it keeps them separate. Ooh, the grow garden just bubbled. Anyways, they're 14 karat gold hoops. And the hoop is like a tube. So they're super lightweight. So it's not like a solid piece of gold. It's a, like a hollow tube, but it makes it much more lightweight. And the, the clasp is really secure. So I'll put this one in. Yeah, I've really been enjoying these. They're very comfortable. I forget that I have them in. And they don't, I mean, they're 14 karat gold, so they don't like do anything weird in your earlobes, like turn them green or anything. And peek. Yeah, I've been wearing these over the past two, two to three weeks. And I've been wearing them in a lot of my videos and you guys have been like, please share those earrings. So I'll link them down below for you guys. But again, I did not buy these. They were sent to me for free. So thank you Octoly and Oro Central for sending these to me. But if you guys are in the market for some nice 14 karat gold hoops, I highly recommend these. They're really good quality and very lightweight. Like I said, a million times. Um, and I've really been elated with them. Um, Oro Central 14 karat gold. Well, hey guys, what's up? I'm on my way to the club. I was just listening to a podcast and they were talking about these new um, uh, cannulas for filler where basically 
it uh, will not uh, let you inject if you were in a vessel as opposed to the, the way to know that is you, you kind of pull back a little bit to know if you're in a blood vessel because you don't want to inject into one that would be very bad but in, in designing these new cannulas that they use like LEDs kind of like a little pulse oximeter is what I glean from the podcast and it will detect if you were in a blood vessel and it won't like let you inject which is kind of cool that way you don't have to like pull back a little bit but they um they're talking about they're not yet fda approved um and they're going to come out with like different sizes and stuff so that's kind of a cool innovation innovation um in the uh, realm of injectables It is muggy out, you guys. I did not feel like coming out today just because it's so steamy out. I, I felt like I got up this morning, you know, you saw my routine or whatever. As I was getting dressed for the day, I felt like I was already sticky. It's not even just like being sweaty. It's just, I don't know, random condensation of moisture. A little precarious here. We've got a cement mixing truck. I love this house. You guys can't see because I'm driving, but the, this particular house has a statue outside. It's like a emperor or something, kind of artistic statue, and they put they put a face mask on their statue. There's bubbles again, the mobile doggy spa. That thing makes the makes the rounds coming around all the the houses. I guess. Have you guys seen this Dawn Power Wash spray? $7.99. Looks handy. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These are another Ooh, what is this? Clean freak. Deep cleaning mist. I may have to try this. The breeze. Car packs. Regain. Regain protein powder is on sale. $21.99. This stuff's pretty good. Actually, I don't think I've ever had their peanut butter chocolate chip. I have had the vanilla and the chocolate though. It's pretty good. Wow, check out this massive wreath. This is new this week. This LED, $149.99. That looked nice on the front of somebody's house though. Ooh, this looks nice. The Helmetics Weighted Comfort Wrap with Vibration and Soothing Heat. Three Vibration Intensities, $29.99. Ooh wee, it's comfortable. So, Costco had these Pendleton um, queen blankets. Pendleton's a really nice brand. This was, this is a queen size, $25. I kind of need a new um, blanket for my bed, and I love gray, you guys know. So I went ahead and got that because I thought it was a good deal. Why am I holding the camera weird? Um, yeah, I thought it was a good deal, and it's really soft, and looks nice on that bed so yeah look forward to that and I got a bag of frozen rice cauliflower of course I also got some mixed squash although I definitely need to wash it, it looks like it's got a little dust on it <laughs> um, I got some of these pure organic layered fruit bars I love these and they are currently on Ibotta which is that rebate app that I use to get cash back on stuff and this is also on Ibotta. It's the Wholesome Allulose uh, No Calorie Sweetener. I enjoy this stuff. And um, it's basically, uh, allulose is like the same thing that's in the Smart Sweet stuff. And I think it's from like raisins or something. Anyways, I got some broccoli. 
two containers of spring mix. This stuff's really good. Um, I got some strawberries this week. We'll see how they are. I imagine they're still good. Um, I want to do my strawberry chia pudding. Um, I also got some apples. This emoji bag is new, and it says that it's like completely, let's say, this bag uses 25% less plastic than the standard fruit pouches. So there you go. Costco is making, people are making some efforts to reduce waste. I got some Taster's Choice coffee for when I'm in a hurry. And for the taste test, I have never had durian before. Sorry, our little grow light is backlighting thing. I've, I've never had I've never had durian before. I would love to try it fresh. I And I know we can get it here. Um, we have a ton of like uh, stores that sell it, but I don't feel like <laughs> gallivanting around in search of durian. Uh, so I got this. It was at Costco freeze dried. I look forward to taste testing that out for you guys. So yeah, that's everything that I got at the club. Just a few little produce items and whatnot. All right, so I'm really excited to try the durian. I've always wanted to taste this and I couldn't believe they had it at Costco. Um, yeah, Costco has really been getting in really unique things as of lately. And I'm still really loving those spicy Shishwan cookies, by the way. Anyways, um, it I heard so many good things about durian, but that it obviously smells really foul, apparently. It smells like a dirty diaper. So much so that it's banned from certain outdoor markets, um, I've heard. But what I've heard is that the fruit can taste like bubble gum to some people. So I'm pretty stoked to try it out. This is what like it actually looks like in real life. This kind of spiny thing and then it's got this like globby stuff inside. Do you ever wonder like how these things are discovered? I, like the history of like people figuring out that they could cut into this spiny thing and eat that gloopy stuff and not being so put off by the smell. Like, I, I wonder what ever compelled someone to eat the durian in the first place. All right. Could get, I imagine the freeze dry process renders out some of that stinky, funky smell. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a dirty diaper. good to me. It has like a little fruity, there's, there is something a little pungent, like a slight pungent undertone to it, almost like a sulfur type compound, but it's not, it's not stinky. It smells good actually. All right. And you get in this bag, three servings. It was not cheap. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like $10. One serving uh, is 1.16 ounces. I'm having a trouble like pinpointing what this tastes like. It tastes like nothing I've ever had, so I'm having a hard time describing it. It's got almost like a little bit of a salty, smoky, taste to it combined with sweet. I've never had a fruit that tastes like this before. Comment below, those of you who've had the actual fruit that's not freeze dried and maybe you've had the freeze dried, like how do they compare? Is this like a completely different experience? I actually really like this um, and I'm glad I got it. I probably will buy a bunch of it the next time I go because I imagine this is a limited limited edition that's how costco gets you they keep you guessing like are they going to take this away and yeah i know like once they get the little asterisk asterisk in it means it's going to go away but like you don't know when that's coming <laughs> so they kind of psych you out about it it's a pretty big piece i would not say that this tastes like any kind of chewing gum i've ever had though Mm. A 
famous delicacy from Southeast Asia, crispy, crunchy, and bursting with flavor. The durian fruit with its regal thorn crown packs a powerful punch. It wins hands down. When freeze dried with our latest technology, it lives up to its name in the King of Fruit mythology. What a cute little poem. Yeah, definitely give this a try. Made in Thailand. Uh, yeah, definitely give this a try. Um, if you've never had durian before, like myself, I think, I think you might like it. I think it was definitely worth it. And like I said, I'm going to stock up on this. Hmm. I am kind of getting like a, almost like a custard. Yeah, like a, a custardy taste. There's like a subtle custard taste that's coming out too. It's like a ton of different flavors. Just, what is it um, in Willy Wonka where, is it the blue bear, the girl who turns into the, the it's been a long time since I've seen Willy Wonka, I apologize. But the girl who like, turns into a blueberry. Isn't she like tasting something? Or is it when they go lick the wallpaper? Yeah, they go lick the wallpaper and there are all these different flavors coming out. It's kind of what durian's like. <laughs> yeah, I love Willy Wonka. Comment below, do you like the original Willy Wonka movie with Gene Wilder? Or do you like the modern one with uh, Johnny Depp? Which one do you prefer? I like them both. I don't know which one I prefer though. I like the one with Gene Wilder and that to me is like Willy Wonka, but the one with Johnny Depp is more like, I don't know, adults, even though it's still kid friendly, I think. I don't know. Um, for whatever reason, I just kind of, that one seems more trippy. <laughs> Can I say that on YouTube? <laughs> it seems more, I don't know, psychedelic. Something about Johnny Depp's veneers too in that, movie we're like well hey guys what's up i just got out of the shower and my face is still damp i'm going to put on the buffet i have really been enjoying this um peptide serum from the ordinary you guys recommended this to me you've been recommending it to me for a long time I'm saying please check it out i like it um it you know peptides they they mostly act as humectants helping to hold on to water in the skin but there is evidence that they do help with um, stimulating collagen production to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines. They definitely work as humectants. This is a really good product, so thank you guys for recommending it to me. And I just have been using, like I said last week, and I think the Van Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This is really nice. Um, this does a top coat to kind of seal it all in. So yeah, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys, a sunscreen I've been trying out and liking. Um, I got this recently, it's called Summer Ready, even though summer is pretty much almost over, but hey. Um, it's a chemical sunscreen, SPF 30, and it says vitamin D promoting SPF technology. That is basically to emphasize the point that sunscreen does not inhibit your ability, your skin's ability to synthesize vitamin D. That's actually been shown in, in clinical studies and even in real, even if the person applies sunscreen like you're supposed to, which almost no one does, it still does not block vitamin D synthesis in the skin. In fact, there is some argument that it might make your skin more efficient at using, using UV to, to create uh, vitamin D because it should, sunscreens are broad spectrum. They I ran out of space here in my card. Sunscreens that are, are, should be broad spectrum, they should block UVA. UVA actually can um, in, uh, result in less enzyme, less of that enzyme activity. It can compromise the enzyme. So you basically kind of blow out everything with the UVA. And so in other words, having it wearing sunscreen, because it blocks out the UVA, it allows the just the right amount of UVB to do the vitamin D synthesis thing. Anyways, yeah, I do, I do really like the sunscreen. It doesn't leave a cast. Uh, it doesn't burn or sting. It doesn't have oxybenzone in it, which tends to be a chemical filter that's more irritating. And it's water resistant, but it doesn't have that like shiny filminess to it. I've really been liking this a lot. Summer ready, SPF 30. Anyways, guys, I'm getting the blinky light. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for coming along with me to the club, trying out some funky, funky, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on what it's called. I want to call it jackfruit, but that's not what it is.
durian. <laughs> Trying out some funky durian. You definitely should try it, you guys. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.